You thought it was over, didn't you? You thought there wasn't going to be any more hot takes videos, didn't you? See, like Thanos, I am inevitable. Like William Afton, I always come back. It's been a minute. It's been a minute, hasn't it? Uh, what has it been? Almost a year since I've done the last one. It's been almost a couple weeks, a couple months since I asked you for hot takes. It's overdue. But here we are, finally. In the realm of the hotness. In my my fiance's underworld shirt. It feels fitting. It feels fitting that I take a look at your hot takes that you have given me and I respond to them. Everyone's been clamoring at the, at the gates asking, where's the next hot takes video? Well, here it is. You ready? If you're new to the series, this is where I take your hot takes, your opinions, and I react to them, whether or not it be gaming related, movie related, entertainment related, just anything in general. We're just gonna keep it lighthearted, we're gonna keep it fun, and there's no hate, no judgment. I ask you guys to do the same thing. Uh, if you guys wanna talk in the comments, sure, I'll allow that. So we're gonna start this video off with the coldest take of all time. Ape Escape needs a reboot. Yes. It's not even a hot take at this point. I, I feel like that is the, the coldest take that, <laughs> that we've we've ever seen i mean it's playstation has all these ips just sitting there just gathering dust and they're doing nothing with it if you just remake them i mean we don't need a last of us part one we don't need that remake the last of us is like fries right we got we got the first batch of fries we go oh, this is great this is wonderful and we got a f new batch of fries you know you know cooked cooked thoroughly maybe a little bit more seasoning we're like oh that's great and then they change the formula but it's still fries Right? I'm not gonna turn down some fries. I love me some fries. But I think they should go into their other IPs and just remake those. Uh, Ape Escape would be a good one. I think I've mentioned Legend of Dragoon before. Um, they just, just remake Sly Cooper, please. In Infamous, please, just remake it. The Marvel Universe is overrated and the movies water down the uniqueness of the heroes. <sighs> we're starting off hot. I mean, yeah, we're starting off. See, we had a cold take and we have a really spicy take. Then this one, I, I disagree with. I, I wholeheartedly disagree with. You could say something's overrated, but at the same time, though, you cannot deny the impact it has had on entertainment as a whole. Now, everything needs to have a universe. Some people like that idea and some people don't like that idea. Personally, I like it when stuff is like connected and it's in its own universe marvel being one of the in my opinion one of the best examples of doing that i think star wars is trying to do that now and you get this like i don't know like they they came out with andor and i haven't watched it but it's like i don't want to because we saw the fate of this character already it's a problem i have with prequel sequels um or sequel prequels it's like we know what happens to these people, so why should I get invested to them? I don't deny it. the show is great, but I, I just, it's just weird. And I think Marvel did that so well with introducing, like, phases. Also, because no one says that about comic books. <laughs> like, what, there's, like, thousands of copies of Batman? He, he's still a unique character. Same thing with Spider-Man and, and Captain America and Iron Man. It's like you have all these characters that are just shown in a different light. Like I said, you can make the argument that there's too much of something. I can give you that. I, personally, me as an MCU fan is like probably my favorite like property on on Earth right now. I disagree because I love consuming the content. But as someone who's like casual and not really like into it, I can see that it's a very daunting task. But saying it's overrated and, and like watering down the uniqueness, I just disagree because. These movies are like events. Like you saw with Black Panther. Black Panther was an event for a lot of people. I, I, I like the MCU. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. There doesn't need to be any more content about Avatar The Last Airbender. The series ended on a good note. I feel like it will be ruined with more and more movies and series. It's not like Star Wars where you have countless different worlds to make things make sense because the whole thing is in space. Um, I agree. I think that the way that the Avatar ended, I think they, they cut it off right as it was getting like too grandiose not that's not the, that's not what i want to say yeah they knew when they needed to cut it and they did i think there was like four seasons which was perfect they they, they did all all that they needed to do i think once you start trying to expand on a universe that like ended i think you start watering down 
what made this show unique in the first place. Because they try to do the movie, and they try to do four seasons into one movie. With a live-action show, it looks interesting, like with the, the cast they've shown. But I, I don't think you need to expand on it more than it needs to. Like, Legend of Korra, I feel like, was like a good sequel and expansion. But I don't think you need to go farther than that. If you want to do a prequel about one of the Avatar, fine. But I could see the path that they're going down because it, it just it, it makes money. People want more of something that was cut to them short. But really, if you think about it, four seasons was a lot. So they want more content and... I feel like with executives, they don't really care about the soul of what makes something unique. They just care about the money that it makes them. And people love Avatar. So it's going to do well, at least with numbers. But yeah, I agree. I just think that it, it, it just needs to stop. So when I said I haven't done this in a while, I meant it. I just looked through like all of my like backlog and it is comments after comments um because this one was from last year back for blood was disappointing and death stores one of the top three games of the year yeah this was like <laughs> this was like in 2021 i'll respond to these because why not right we're cleaning we're cleaning these up so this guy he says that back for blood was disappointing i agree back for blood was very disappointing uh death store never played it uh but i said i was gonna do a top 10 games of 2021 i can't make that list i actually tried but then my footage got corrupted so if you want to know my top 10 games of 2021, they're right here. At me. This is a cup. This is a couple. This is a couple we got here from the same person. I always like to like at least point that out when someone gives me multiple because it's really cool. And I thank you guys for sh for uh, giving me multiple. He's all that was a good movie and did not deserve all the hate. It's for kids. I have no idea what that movie is. Uh, it sounds familiar. I think it might have been a Netflix movie with Addison Ray. I think people hated it just because it was Addison Ray, and not that they thought it was a bad movie. Because those kind of movies just aren't really made to be like great films. They're meant to be entertaining. And I feel like movies is something that not every. It's like music. Not every single piece of that medium needs to be this like genre defining, award winning film. Some people just want to make movies and music just for the sake of doing it because they enjoy it and they think people would like it people need to get over themselves we both agreed that the resident evil movie was awesome not sure if that's a hot take that is a hot well i think that is a hot take a little bit because usually the the new one that came out last year like i said these are from last year that i never did um people i don't think like the movie they thought it was okay like, but if you thought it was awesome, I, I've heard people say that it was really good. I've also heard people say it was really bad. So it's not really, like, one of those things, like, I've seen both. Now, if you said, like, the show was awesome, then that would be like, well, that's a hot take, because people generally do not like that. But in this instance, like, it looked good. I never watched it, because I was like, I'll wait for it to go on, like, a streaming service or something. But I heard it was, I heard it was okay. Like, and that's just one of those things that people really enjoyed. Whoa! Okay. Um. So, y'all know David. Right, my boy, my brother. I love that man. If you guys are familiar with the Zelda playthrough I did, he was in that. Me and him did it the whole thing together. It's one of my favorite things I've ever done in my history of YouTube. He said he thinks Breath of the Wild looks disappointing. My brother in Christ. As of now, we've had two trailers. I can see where he's coming from because I don't, I'm trying, I'm, I, I don't know if I can see where he's coming from because it just looks like more Breath of the Wild, which was great. But if they're doing like a different thing with the timeline, then I can I can kind of see how it looks disappointing. Because I don't think at this point when this was said, that second trailer came out where they kind of showed more gameplay for it. Um, or just the, the, the whole like set of and stuff. I don't think that came out yet. So I'm trying to get in my mindset of like where we were this time last year. I think they just showed that like reveal trailer um, because it wasn't even called Breath of the Wild 2. It was just it's now Tears of the Kingdom or Tears of the Kingdom. Is it Tears or Tears? Yeah, the, the name wasn't even released yet. So I think it was just like that first like, hey, we're doing it. Sequel to Breath of the Wild 2. Bada boom. Um, so just that little bit. Yeah, I could definitely see where it's disappointing. But I think now it looks great. And maybe his opinion changed. 
Who knows? And finally, we have one last one from her. They should have stopped making SpongeBob if the creator passed away. I think they should have stopped making SpongeBob like 15 years ago. Because I think it's just one of those things that it's just the shows went on too long. Like, just that, that peak SpongeBob. Like, that 1999 to... I want to say 2005. Because I heard that the SpongeBob movie was supposed to be the last thing of SpongeBob. That was it. It was supposed that was supposed to be the last thing that they did. And that was like a really good send-off. Like SpongeBob became the manager of a Krusty Krab. He got his dream. Like that's what he wanted. So that was his perfect send-off. But then, like I said earlier, corporate greed kind of sets in. And I don't know how on hand Steven Hillenberg was is that his name? Hillenberg? Um uh, <laughs> I don't know how hands-on he was with the whole creation process. If they would have ended it with the SpongeBob movie, that would have been perfect. I think SpongeBob would have been like, it's revered now, but I think it would have been like, oh man, you cannot touch this. No matter what you do, you cannot touch SpongeBob. And then they kept going with it. They kept doing it. And it's just like, ugh, ugh. Same thing with Family Guy. Same thing with Simpsons. Like, they keep doing it. They just need to stop it. Wanda is the strongest Avenger. I disagree. My boy, did you did you watch Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness? My boy Steven was on demon time. Literally. Someone said Bloodborne was trash. Damn. That is Whew. That's that that mm. Oh. I think I've talked to him since. And I think he, I think his opinion on that whole thing has changed. Like I think he now thinks Bloodborne is okay, and it's all right. You don't have to like, you don't have to like something. I think you're wrong. Whew. All right. The fact that communication is not only widespread, easily accessible phenomena is ruining society while also benefiting it. On one hand, we can now get information across the globe in seconds, furthering scientific research, medical advancement, and all of our society as a whole. On the flip side, we are now so bombarded with all this new thing or that hot trend they were losing what is to be an individual after all when the numbers of people could typically in contact with one person on a regular basis good from 100 couple hundred to minimum a few thousand we're most likely to find little to no substantial meaning in our connection Whew. all that just to say i agree with you <laughs> just it, it's just the internet man like how how technology has changed the landscape of society I think I already said society like 15 times already, but I mean, if you really think about it, the human brain wasn't wired to just sit there and just get all this content at once. I'm a victim of it. I'm also, I'm also in that web too. I think everybody is, as much as people can sit there and be like, that's not me. That's stupid. I, we're all addicted to it in some way, shape or form. It is now so ingrained in us that you almost cannot operate without the internet and without communication or without a cell phone just to be able to just to get on your phone and look up anything. Like our phones are smarter than the computers that were used to put a man on the moon. That should put it in perspective for you. One of the greatest human feats that we've ever done, we can, on my phone right here, I could just look up how to make potato soup like that. It would melt their minds back then. <laughs> they couldn't comprehend. If I would go back with a cell phone to George Washington and just be like, hey, big dog, there you go. He would probably shoot me on sight. Probably on top of other reasons. But the, the cell phone, the, the moving pictures also I don't think would help my cause much. So that's it. There's all the hot takes I can find. Um, thank you guys for waiting, for waiting so patiently for these, for this one in particular. It's a little longer than I wanted it to be, a little bit more like out there, not as cohesive as I wanted it to be, but thank you. Thank you for your hot takes. Thank you for, <laughs> for example, that last one, that was a paragraph. Thank you for it because it's it's a it's an opinion and I love hearing people's opinions and hot takes. As long as it's not like harmful or hurtful, anything like that, it, it, this is all fun. This is all just fun. This is all to, to, to talk and just just to react. I'm also farming content off you. <laughs> they won't admit it, but I will. I've always said I'll be honest with you. So, yeah. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm, I apologize. I'm also sick. Been sick for a couple days. But that's why, I, like, I had to, like, cut it and this maybe seemed like some weird edits. But thank you. <laughs> As always, like, if you have any more hot takes, any more comments, whatever, leave them in the comment section down below. Follow me on Twitter. Go to my Facebook. I always post these questions. I get people all the time being like, ah, damn, I missed it. Urgh! You wouldn't have missed it if you would have followed me. And subscribe. Subscribe to the channel to get more content like this. Ugh. I'm gonna go now. Bye.